Hi, I'm Claire from Pentalogic Technology. Thanks for taking the time to have a look at this video today. The video is an introduction to Pentalogic's new version of our Reminder web part for use with Microsoft SharePoint. Reminder enhances the functionality of SharePoint alerts and in this new version we've included a feature which supports recurring events. So recurring events is a really useful bit of functionality within SharePoint calendar lists. It means that when you have an event which happens regularly within your working life, like timesheets needing to be completed on a Friday every week in this example, rather than having to endlessly go back into your calendar list and set up each event each time it happens, you can simply go into SharePoint, set up your event, notify SharePoint of the recurrence of that event and the tasks completed in one simple exercise. The previous version of Pentalogic Reminder and indeed most of the web parts on the market don't support the recurring events functionality within SharePoint. So previously, if you wanted to send reminder emails to your team about regularly occurring events, you were simply not able to use this time-saving feature. You would have to set up each occurrence of the event as an individual list item. A bit of a hassle to say the least. So now we're going to show you how you can quickly and easily set up a reminder web part to send out alert emails to your team to remind them about the recurring events in this calendar. OK, so now we're going to pull up the web parts page and add the web parts to the page. Then we're going to configure the web part. We're going to get it to watch the calendar list. And then this is the bit that's really important here. We're going to get it to expand recurrences. This is the, the thing that you won't be seeing on other web parts. We're going to get it to email people from the notify column. In the subject field, we're going to get it to include the contents from the title column. And then we're going to customize the actual body of the email by including the description and some additional text here to show us where the emails come from. We've got different options as to when we can send the email in relation to the event, but for this example, we want the email to go out within about an hour of when the event's due. So click OK and we're done. And then go back to the main web parts page and you can see that the web parts set up and running. So as a result of this, on the first working day of every month, Nancy's going to get a reminder email with regard to the report that she needs to get out. Additionally, every Friday at about 9 o'clock, the whole team will get a reminder to get their timesheets in. And then again, at around 4 o'clock on Friday, the whole team are going to get another reminder about timesheets. All this from the very quick and simple web part setup that you've just seen. So, in this short demo, we've shown you how, with the new version of Pentalogic Reminder, you can combine the convenience of SharePoint's recurring events with the power of reminder emails. In this demo we've shown you one specific example of how you might use reminder but obviously there are a multitude of other uses for it. We hope you found the demo useful. Uh, if you need any more help or if you have any questions with regard to setting up your reminder web part then please do get in touch.